Have you ever wondered how the smallest unit of life, the cell, works to keep us alive and functioning? Welcome to a journey, a journey into the microscopic universe that exists within us, the intriguing world of cells. Cells are the basic building blocks of life, forming the very foundation of every living organism. From the tiniest bacterium to the largest blue whale, cells are the cornerstone of life as we know it. Imagine cells as tiny, bustling factories. Within each factory, there are various departments, each with a specific role to play, all working in harmony to keep the factory running smoothly. Similarly, within each cell, there are numerous parts or organelles, each with a unique function, collaboratively ensuring the cell, and consequently the organism, thrives. But what are these parts? What roles do they play within this microscopic factory? How do they contribute to the larger picture of life? So what are these parts and what exactly do they do? Stay tuned to find out. First up, we have the nucleus, often referred to as the brain of the cell. Why is this so? Well, much like our brains control our bodies, the nucleus holds the reins in the cellular world. It's the command center, the heart of operations, the hub of activity. The nucleus is where the cell's DNA, the blueprint of life, is safely stored. This DNA is not just a simple storage system though, it's an active participant in the cell's day-to-day -day operations. It contains the instructions for everything the cell needs to do, from making proteins to replicating itself. The nucleus also regulates the cell's activities. It monitors what's going on in the cell and adjusts the cell's functions accordingly. It decides when to grow, when to divide, and when to die. It's like the cell's personal coach, guiding it through every step of its life. Without the nucleus, a cell would be like a ship without a captain. It's no wonder then that the nucleus is such a crucial part of the cellular structure. Now, let's turn our attention to the mitochondria, the powerhouses of the cell. These are not just any ordinary powerhouses, but the very life force that supports cell activity. They are the site for one of nature's most fascinating processes, respiration. Respiration, in the context of cell biology, is the process by which cells extract energy stored in nutrients. This energy is then converted into a form that the cell can use. Think of it as a power plant converting coal into electricity, but in this case the coal is the nutrients we consume and the electricity is the energy that powers our cells. Mitochondria are responsible for this crucial conversion. They break down the nutrients, primarily glucose, through a series of chemical reactions. This process ultimately produces ATP, the energy currency of the cell. This ATP is then used to fuel the cell's activities from movement to growth to reproduction. Indeed, without mitochondria, cells would lack the energy to function. Next, we have the ribosomes and the endoplasmic reticulum the factory workers of the cell. Ribosomes are the protein builders of our body. Like master chefs, they follow recipes or genetic codes to assemble complex proteins from simple ingredients, amino acids. Now let's move on to the endoplasmic reticulum or ER. Imagine the ER as a bustling highway within the cell. This network of tubes and sacs plays a crucial role in protein transportation. After proteins are synthesized by the ribosomes, they're sent to the ER. Here, they're folded into three-dimensional shapes, a vital step for their function. Some proteins are dispatched to specific parts of the cell, while others are packaged into vesicles and exported out of the cell. In essence, the ribosomes and ER are like a well-oiled machine, each part working in harmony to produce and transport proteins. So, these factory workers ensure the cell keeps running smoothly. So, we've journeyed through the cell and met some of its key players. Let's take a moment to recap. The cell, much like a tiny factory, is bustling with activity and each component has a distinct role to play. The nucleus, the cell's command center, holds our genetic blueprint in the form of DNA, directing the cell's functions. The mitochondria, often referred to as the powerhouse of the cell, are responsible for generating energy through the process of cellular respiration. Then we have the ribosomes, the protein factories of the cell, diligently synthesizing proteins that are essential for various cellular activities. The endoplasmic reticulum, on the other hand, is a network of tubes responsible for protein and lipid synthesis and transport. Each of these parts and many more work in harmony, ensuring the cell and subsequently the organism 
functions smoothly. Just as in a factory, every part of a cell has a role to play. And it's this teamwork that keeps us and all life functioning.